Capture the objective. And gals, it's Ash here, bringing you a gameplay commentary on the map Summit, using the AUG, A -U -G, whichever you prefer. Um, uh, and I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, oh, Ashton, you're not sniping. What a cheater. What a what a bad kid. You're so bad, Ashton. And I know, I know it. But um, honestly, my excuse for this gameplay is um, I was trying to get Tag Mask Pro at this point. And I just could not get the Nova Gas kills using a sniper rifle because I couldn't Probably see sure. through the smoke to kill the enemies. Like the smoke generated by the um, Nova Gas. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. One game, I'm going to use the AUG and put on Nova Gas. And I'm just going to get this crap and go ahead and get it out of the way. And uh, right here at the beginning, I die a crap load. I don't know why. I think it was because... Um, this was the first game of Dom I'd played in a really, really long time, so I wasn't, like, adjusted to it. I was still, you know, in that search mindset. But it does pick up. Um, the score is very good, in my opinion, to be, you know, rushing around and capturing objectives. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and honestly, this is part of the reason I snipe, because using guns like this is way too easy. And judging by the first, like, two or three minutes of this gameplay, you're going to think, God, Ashton, you suck with this gun. Why are you saying it's easy? Well, you'll see after it after I pick up and like start to get in the domination like mindset and start to you know get my uh, get my game back so to speak. But I hope you guys are having an awesome week as always. I know I say that probably every video. Um, uh, and this is gonna be a Friday video. Um, so uh, the weekend is on your doorstep. It's knocking and it's saying it's the weekend. I'm here. Are you ready to have fun? And you better be ready to have fun because this weekend means business. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing this weekend. Let me know if you're doing anything fun. I'm actually, uh, driving about an hour or so to visit a friend of mine, uh, and, uh, actually two friends of mine, uh, one of which I've seen recently and another of which I haven't seen in forever. So, uh, that'll be interesting and fun. Uh, hopefully, uh, I have a fairly good weekend. And I have no clue how that guy killed me, because I was running the completely opposite direction. I guess he was just hell-bent on blowing my brains out, so he just persisted. But, um, uh, that's not the, um, commentary topic I want to actually talk about. All the, you know, the random mumbo jumbo I talk about at the beginning of uh, every commentary, pretty much. But, um, what I want to talk about is, um, one of the most amazing, like, feelings you can get, or you can have throughout your entire life. Um, and I don't know that everybody gets to experience the feeling that I'm, uh, that I'm going to speak about. But, um, I hope that everybody feels it at least one, uh, once in their life. And, um, the feeling I've, um, I'm talking about is the feeling you get when... A crowd or like an audience gives you a gives you a standing ovation. That is one of the most amazing feelings ever. And um, and I'll t I'll tell you you know what um, an example of an experience whenever I went through this. Um, I was in uh, the band my entire uh, high school all four years, and I was in band for three years before that whenever I was in middle school. And uh, I think I spoke I think I actually mentioned that in a previous commentary. But, um, um, one year, or probably all the years, honestly, we had standing ovation probably every year, multiple times, but <laughs> we went to this one contest, the one that I remember most, like, vividly, because my, uh, my senior year we played a, uh, patriotic theme, which I freaking hated, because, yeah, patriotic songs, what they do, they're great and all that stuff, but I don't want to hear them for five, for four months straight, playing them over and over and over and over again, God! Broken record. But I did it anyways, and yep, it happened. So um, we went to this big contest in uh, in town, and, uh, you know, we played our we played our show, and then, Dogs you know, the last job. note, you know, tapers off, and then the crowd just goes crazy. Just, like, that feeling that you get, like, for being congratulated for something you've worked really hard on, it's just an amazing feeling, and I feel like there's honestly no other feeling that can compare to that. That, I mean, it's just amazing, and uh, I've actually, um, you know, there's tons of stories I could tell about it, you know, all the, all the different contests we went to and all that, but um, with that show that we played, the Patriotic Theme, um, one uh, of our games actually fell on, like, the weekend of, like, Memorial Day or something like that, and uh, there was, you know, several veterans in the crowd, and this one man... You know, a battle-hardened veteran comes up to, you know, our band director, and he's just in tears, and he's just, you know, um, you know, thank you for playing the show, you know, it was beautiful and all this, and, and that's even more worth it to me than a standing ovation, just somebody who truly, like, was touched by something you did, not necessarily something patriotic, but just anything, like, something that you can do for someone that they can so 
um, utterly relate to that they're just, you know, they're touched to their very core that you did that, and, you know, it's amazing that a feeling like that, and, you know, tell me, um, like, if you, if this has ever happened to you guys, you know, you've ever gotten a standing ovation, you've ever, you know, had the feeling I'm, I'm describing, then just let me know, uh, what the situation was in the commentary, I mean, the commentaries, <laughs> in the comment section, um, because, um, I think this is an experience that everyone needs to have at least once in their life, because there's not a feeling like it anywhere in the whole world. And it's just, like, that's just that swelling pride, and it's not like an arrogant pride either. It's not like, oh, yeah, I just did this. It's like one of those things, like, wow, you know, you're, you're truly in all of this situation. Like, that people actually feel or thought that highly of something you did, and it's just amazing. And, uh... That's all I, really, all I really have to say on that topic. If I think of something else, I'll address it further on in the commentary. But as you can see, I got dogs earlier. And, yeah, I never get dogs. I put on dogs this game just because I was like, what the heck, I'll put on dogs this game. But honestly, I, I, I put on... Every time I've ever put on dogs, I've gotten dogs. I don't know... I, I don't know if it's just this mindset I get whenever I do put dogs on. But when I don't have dogs on, I never get an 11 kill streak Ever. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like this little button, this little mode I turn on on my head, attack dog mode or something. Um, but, uh, <laughs> oh man, this top, this commentary is just going nowhere fast. Downhill real quick. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the last commentary. Um, this, despite the crappy audio quality, I didn't notice it until after I had already started uploading it. I went to rewatch it. Because that's generally what I do while I'm uploading a video. I'll watch it to, you know, just reflect on, you know, the commentary or whatever. But uh, I think it's been remedied in this uh, commentary. From I did a test prior to this, and it seemed to be working fine. So hopefully that problem is solved. If not, then I'll be slightly sad. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, like I was talking about attack dogs earlier, I don't ever put them on, but, uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, Ryan and I were getting super frustrated with search, so we were just like, screw it, we're playing Dom, we both put on dogs, and that night, him and I, or me and him got dogs at least 12 times. It's crazy. Like, every, every game almost, we got dogs. I think there were only three games that I didn't get dogs, and one of them was on Summit with this super duper tryhard team. We managed to win... But, uh, you know, we didn't get a very good uh, good score. Like, we were both positive, but we didn't have, you know, like, insane kill-death ratios or whatever. And then there was another one on firing range where we were just, you know, you have to, like, try on firing range to maintain, like, all the points and everything. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that some of you have seen, like, better... I, I know everybody probably has seen better games with using dogs and whatnot, but... I like to think that mine's a little unique because I am constantly running and constantly, you know, trying to get to where the enemy is. I'm not, um, and that was a sick bank shot. I don't even know who that hit. I didn't even notice it earlier. <laughs> but I'm constantly, like, up in the enemy spawn or trying to get there in the spawn. And, uh, I think that's a little different than somebody you see who, like, um, will patrol a certain area and get all their kill streaks or whatever. I'm, I think it's just because I'm always in the constant mindset that I need to, like, run at the enemy. I guess that's just how I feel. Like, I constantly have to rush or, you know, I'm not... I'm, it's, it's just something I can't do. I'm not that uh, patient of a person. Like, Ryan, when Ryan plays Search, he can, he can hold down a single area and, like, clutch a whole round. I can't do that because I get bored in, like, the first, like, five seconds. I'm like, oh, God, this is so boring. Screw this area! And then I just run away and probably die. That's how I roll. As you can see right here, like, I'm all up in the enemy spawn, like, completely. Like, see, there's three guys, four guys, five guys ahead of me. And I'm just not even, not even slowing down. Not even giving up. Um, and see here, I'm running out of bullets, and I'm still up in their spawn, like, not even caring. And bam! There they are again. Hello, puppies. But, uh, I, I don't know, whenever I first started playing Black Ops, I usually, like, never got any high kill streaks. And... Whenever I say high kill streaks, when I started playing, I thought like Blackbird was a high kill streak. I was like, oh my god, I'll never get a Blackbird. Eight kills in a row without dying. Holy crap! And I honestly, at this point, I haven't I hadn't played Dom in so long that I hadn't seen any of these high kill streaks. Like I'll get a Blackbird in Surge like once every couple of days, just because I get lucky. And more often than not, I'll get a seven kill streak and then get killed before I can get the eighth kill, which always makes me rage super hard. I'd rather get killed on 6-0 than on 7-0, because that just makes me so mad. 
Um, but that's the gameplay, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like as always, and I'll catch you bros later.